everyone, Kara's here, and today we are going to be making this Parfait plush. Now, I'm so sorry guys that I've been away for so long, but uh, senior year finally hit, and I really had to buckle down studying for the SAT test, which is really important in America if you want to go to college. So, now that that's out of the way, and the SAT dragon is appeased, I would like to show you guys how to make this Parfait plush, and it's really time-consuming, but it's so worth it. So here are the things you'll need. Okay, so we obviously have a ton of stuff for this Parfait, but I'm just going to go ahead and, one by one, show you what we'll need. Well, first you'll need the circle from the template, which is going to be red or whatever color you're going to be using or for your flavor. I'm going to be using strawberry, so red is going to be my predominant color. Next, I have this whipped cream dollop, which I got from a tutorial I found on YouTube. I'll, of course, link that in the description below. Um, this is going to be our template for our actual, like, kind of cup part. But um, what I've done is that I've actually ha I've gotten the template, and I did this freehand, so it's kind of wonky, as you see. But I've made, like, a light line. I'm not sure if you can see that. A light line with the chalk. And I measured it to see, like, when where would be the, like, appropriate place to stitch it. I mean, I might cut that off later, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> First time and all. But anyway, next, these are going to be the different layers on our parfait. And with these layers, one of the layers is going to be a strawberry layer. So these are for the strawberry layer, which is going to go on the cup itself. And these strawberries are going to be the strawberries decorating the top. And as you can see, these strawberries have a backing. They're going to be stuffed. These strawberries are just one-dimensional. They're going to be stitched onto the flap. And last are the t some of the other extra toppings. This is going to be like some little cookie curls. I don't know what they're called. They're like, uh, they're chocolate filled and they have like, I don't know if I can do this. Anyway, I'll show you what, about that later. And this is going to be the base of our parfait glass. And this is just a bit of green garnish with some green felt. So predominant colors for mine are going to be red, pink, this kind of tan color. More red, of course, green, and then I'm actually making my cup cream and my whipped cream white. The colors I have for our parfait are just going to correspond to the colors I chose for my strawberry parfait. Of course, if you're doing a kiwi one, you can always switch out my red for green. You can switch out the pink for an yellow, I'm not sure. But anyway, let me just go ahead and show you the colors. We have white, brown, pink, red, green, and this cream, which is kind of matches my parfait base. And then we have stuffing, of course, and scissors. First, our first step is going to be taking our first piece, which is the cream base piece, and rolling it, but not just arbitrarily rolling it. You really want to get it to around the same size as your red or otherwise colored piece. So it should fit kind of well on the top. And now you're going to just hold that make a dart right where it's supposed to be there and at the bottom and using those darts you're going as like kind of a pin to hold in place you're going to do a simple felt stitch along this edge right next you're going to take this tan piece and you're going to loop it around of course make sure it's nice and secure all the way around and then put a couple stitches to hold it in place and then some regular felt stitches to stitch it on so here's what the bottom looks like once you've sewed it on, and I haven't actually stitched the bottom part of this um, kind of cookie area of the parfait. I just, um, generally if I don't have to stitch something, I won't. So it's um, not stitched down there, and I'm actually going to cover that up with some red a little bit later. So next you're going to do these cute little cookie rolls, and first you're going to take your rectangle, and as you can see I've already rolled it up pretty close. You're going to take your brown thread now, and let me just make a knot. I'm gonna make a knot in your brown thread. I'm gonna stick it into the center of your roll and then poke it out at the edge of the felt. And then taking that, you're gonna just kind of go with the roll of the felt and curl that around your roll. And as you get to the bottom, you're just going to fix it in place with a little dart and actually go backwards back around this. Alrighty, so next part is this little red base piece. And basically what we're just going to do is connect this around, do some dart stitches down, 
do fell stitch around this to attach it to these two pieces. And lastly, I'm going to take my thread and run a little kind of swirly pattern around here before we're going to put the strawberries in these little areas. So as you can see, I went ahead and sewed on the not only the bottom part, but I also made these like red stripes, which I'm hoping will add a bit more color to this white section. It seemed a bit too blank to me. So the next part that we're going to do is taking these little strawberries, and every time that this like kind of cookie part dips down, that's where we're going to place one of our strawberries and fix it in place with a fell stitch around the edge and some red thread. Ta-da! Here are all the strawberries once they've been sewn on and this took a long time. I kind of underestimated how many stitches it takes to sew on five strawberries. But anyway, as you can see it's getting to be a little stitch party down inside our Sunday parfait, sorry. And next we're going to take the base of our parfait cup, which is this kind of O shape, and place that on top and blanket stitch around the inside, trying to get as much as the red and the white connected to the base as possible. You really don't want to leave that kind of hanging. And then once you've done that, you're going to take this part and placing it on top, such a blanket stitch around the entire outside edge. That way you'll have a nice little base that looks like a full unit. So. All right, so here it is with the bottom attached. And I really like how that kind of hides the stitches of the bottom part. I always like it when you don't have to see stitches. Next, we are going to finish forming the top part, or start forming the top part. And to do that, we're going to take each of our strawberries, and I've already sewed on the little pink, like, inside part of the strawberry, and we're going to do a blanket stitch around this entire thing and add a bit of stuffing before we close it up completely. Alright, so here is the strawberry when it's finished. And as you can see, I just in a blank stitch and stuffed it so it looks a bit more poofy and 3D. So next, I have taken the template for the whipped cream dollop and I've attached it to my red circle top piece with a couple darts, nothing fancy, just enough to keep it secure in place and from, um, hopefully it won't <laughs> tear off later. So next, you're just going to, like in the tutorial, you're going to take each of these and folding them on top of each other, you're going to stitch them all together. And before it's fully closed, you're just going to paste, um, place our, sorry, you're going to place some stuffing inside the whipped cream dollop. As you can see, this is what the dollop looks like when it's finished. And it's pretty secure. I like that on the base. And then I've also taken the leaf and I've done all the proper sewing to close it up. It's just a couple blanket stitches. Nothing fancy. I stuffed it with some stuffing before I closed it up just to give it a little bit more 3D effect. And next comes the fun part where we're going to assemble our top. You're going to take each of these strawberries and kind of getting a good hold on them, you're going to fix them in a circle around the whipped cream dollop. And each one you're going to fix with a lot of um, darts or fell stitches to hold it onto the base. And now these, uh, the five of these are probably not going to go all the way around, but that's okay because we're actually going to take these two little pieces and we're going to affix those with fell stitches also underneath. And lastly, we're going to be attaching our little leaf. Alright, so it's looking good so far. I've taken each piece and using a couple of not too tidy stitches. I just made sure that they're nice and secure. The whole thing is that you want them to stick. I even kind of sewed some of them into the whipped cream doll just so it all stays secure. And as you can see I left a bit more space between these and that's going to be where these little guys go. Our two little cookie sticks. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to wedge my piece of leaf but I'll find somewhere to stick that in. And after you've secured those with fell stitches we'll be taking our base and Separating this from our strawberries, we're going to run a blanket stitch along the edge of our cup. Okay, so here is the top of the parfait all done and sewed together. Next, I'm going to take this top piece and using a blanket stitch in my cream thread, I'm going to attach it to the top portion, or sorry, the bottom portion. But before I do that, I'm going to take this little rope, like 
keychain that I made. It's actually just a piece of coiled up embroidery that thread that I recoiled and recoiled until it made a rope. So I'm going to attach that to the thickest part right here on my keychain so it's nice and secure and then do the blanket stitching. Alright guys, this is it all finished up, all the pieces securely attached and it's got its little keychain at the back there. It is a strawberry parfait and I really hope that you'll try it out. The template will be on my blog before I put up this video so it should be there ready for you to try it out. So if you do make it please leave a video response and I'd love to attach that to this video. So I hope that you'll try it and leave a response. Hey guys, um, P.S. just wanted to let you know that I have a Rilakkuma Bandit plush that I made for Halloween last year, but at that time our computer was acting really weird so it ended up corrupting the file and it really like ticked me off so I ended up not redoing the tutorial, but I still have the instructions in the template um, on my blog and they're really easy, I mean it's pretty much a um, two-dimensional character so nothing complicated, but I hope you'll go check it out. Bye bye